Today's video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create a native Android and iOS mobile application. Get the opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Educate WP YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to add a multi-vendor marketplace theme to your WooCommerce website. Before we begin the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the like button if you are interested in more content like this. As you can see, this is a sample website and I will be converting this to a multi-vendor marketplace website. To create a multi-vendor store, first, we must install the theme on WordPress. The link for the theme can be found in the video description. When you click on the link, you will be directed to this page. The Marketo Multivendor Theme Collection for WooCommerce and WordPress is available here. These collections provide plenty of themes. By purchasing this collection, you can install any of the provided themes from the collection to your WordPress. You can preview the themes by clicking on the preview button here. So let's get started. Since I have already downloaded the theme, let me show you how to install the theme. First, navigate to the folder where you saved your theme. It'll be in compressed form. Unzip it. Here, select the folder. You can always refer to the documentation file for general information such as how to install and customize your theme. Let's go back and click on the theme folder. You can see two files in this theme folder. These are the two theme files that we need to install on our website. To install the themes, first, navigate to the WordPress dashboard. To access your dashboard, simply add slash WP hyphen admin to the end of your WordPress website URL. Once you've reached the WordPress dashboard, Go to the Appearance option on the dashboard's left side and select Theme. This takes you to the WordPress theme page. Click on Add New to install the theme. By clicking the Upload button, you can upload the theme. There are two files in this folder, Parent Theme and Child Theme. All customizations are saved in the Child Theme and anything in the child theme takes priority over anything in the parent. So, if the same file exists in both the child and the parent, the child's file will control that aspect of the theme. Let's begin with this file, select it, and then upload it. After the file has been uploaded, click the Install button. After installation, you will be redirected to the next page where you will have the choice to activate the theme. Now, click the Activate button. As you can see, the theme is active, but it is not yet finished. To function effectively, the theme will require some additional dependencies plugins such as Elementor, Element Skit Lite, Metform, and so on. Let me demonstrate one of the plugins. In this case, I've chosen the Elementor plugin. Elementor is a WordPress drag and drop page builder. Using a visual editor, this plugin allows you to create stunning pages. It's intended to let you easily create dynamic web pages. Return to this page to see how to install these plugins. Click the Begin Installation button. When you click on it, you will be taken to this page. Here we can install these plugins individually or select all of them at once by checking this box. After you've selected these plugins, go to the top and look for a drop down menu with an install option. Click on Install, then Apply. All of the plugins begin to install on this page. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find that the installation is now completed. Return to the plugin installer by clicking the button. All of the plugins that have been installed are visible. Now it's time to turn these plugins active. Likewise, you can activate all of these plugins at once or pick and choose which ones you require. And from the drop down menu, you will be given the option of either updating or activating the plugin. Let's activate it first, then apply it. 
Return to our WordPress dashboard once the installation is complete. Repeat the previous steps with the child theme file. Click on Upload and then select the second file to upload. Now, click the Install button and then the Activate button. Your child theme file has also been successfully installed. Now it's time to add all of the demo content. Let's return to your dashboard once again, and then from here, select Tool Settings. Choose Demo Content Install from the list. Here you may see all of the themes that are accessible from the installed demo content. You can now install any of the available demo themes from this page. When you hover over a theme, you'll get a preview option that shows you how the theme will look on your website once you installed it. Choose your theme and press the Install button. A notice will appear informing you that if you install this theme, your current activated theme will be erased and cannot be restored. Because I don't have a theme on my website right now, I'll hit OK. If you already have a theme on your website, I recommend that you back up all of your files before installing the demo theme. It will take some time to complete the installation. It will instantly redirect you to your freshly built website after installation. As you can see, our standard WooCommerce website has been transformed into a marketplace store. We may now customize this website using the plugins that we previously installed. To customize our website, we can use the Elementor plugin. Let's go ahead and click on the Edit with Elementor button, which will take you to a page where you may edit and make changes to your theme. You can see all of the customizable choices on the left-hand side. You can add a heading title by grabbing this title option and dropping it here. You can customize your text, like color and font size from the option given on the left-hand side. For adding video or images, you can use the video and image features from the option. Likewise, if you scroll down, you will find tons of features to customize your theme. Just experiment and play around with them. Once you finish your customization, click on the Update button and all the customized features will reflect on your theme. So that's how you install a multivendor marketplace theme to your WooCommerce website. This will help your store to look more appealing and also it will help you to reach more customers. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any queries related to WooCommerce or WordPress, let us know in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.